today we are going to be talking a little bit about off-camera flash and particularly the Nikon creative lighting system. Now, what this is is that with the built-in flash that you have on your camera, you can wirelessly trigger remote flashes. So what I have today is I've got a D700 with a 50mm 1.4. I'm going to be shooting an f4. I'm going to be doing a portrait of myself here. I'm using a little electronic remote timer. This is kind of a cheap one. Um, that I just picked up, you know, at a camera store, and I'm going to be triggering uh, an SB800 remotely, okay? So I'm going to wirelessly, basically, from the camera to the flash, and I've got just a basic softbox up here, you know, on a boom. So it's a real kind of a simple setup. Now, very first thing I want to do is I'm going to go into aperture priority mode here on the camera, and I'm going to, I'm going to, I want to meter for the background here, okay? So... Right now, in order to get, you know, plenty of background in there, um, let's see, it's saying uh, 50th um, of a second at F4 and ISO 400, okay? So now I'm going to go into manual and I'm going to go down to, I'm actually going to bump it up to like uh, 200th of a second because I want to get more of that um, background and less of the ambient light. I want to close it down a little bit over there, okay? So now I'm going to pop up my flash and I'm going to go into the menu system here and I'm going into the custom settings menu under bracketing and flash, flash control for built-in flash, commander mode. Now, I'm telling the built-in flash to do nothing, okay? So when you cycle through the modes, you have, after, you have automatic, you have manual, whatever. I'm telling it to do nothing. Group A is going to be that flash. That is my Group A flash. I put that in manual mode and I put it at 1 64th power on channel 1. So this flash has already been set up as a remote. This is my commander. I'm going to get down in the chair over here and we're going to see what we get. All right, now let's see what we got. Not bad, very moody lighting. Um, you know, I think it's actually uh, very cool. So what I'd like to do now is I would like to add a little bit of fill because that is going to be my key light. So basically we've got the ambient light that's coming in through the window. We've got our key light that's being provided by the softbox. So what I want to do is I want to just put a little bit of fill light in this image here and then maybe we'll even explore some accent lights. So for the time being, um, that's that's basically going to be it for the moment, and when we come back here, um, we're going to set up another light. All right, so now I've got my second light. Now this light here is going to be my fill light. So I've got my key light over here, my fill light over here. So I'm going to go back into the camera. I'm going to go back into the custom setting mode under bracketing flash. I'm going to uh, commander mode, and for group B, which is going to be that light, I'm going to dial that thing way down. I'm going all the way down to, let's say, let's go down to 1, 128 power. So I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to grab my remote trigger. I'm going to get back here. And let's just see how this looks. All right. Much more balanced image right there. Very cool. Now, so what we have here is we've got our key, we've got our, um, our fill, and the ambient is the back over here. Now, so that's basically it. So when you're shooting with the Nikon system, you have a very powerful built-in setup here where you can, with a built-on flash, so we're talking about anything from like you know, uh, a D700, a D7000, a D70. I mean, I don't know the list right now, but you know, it's worth looking up. You can actually trigger a whole host of, of remote flashes from Nikon SP600s to 700s to 800s to 900s, etc. So again, here we go. And that's all there is to it. So that's it for now. Uh, we're going to probably do a whole lot more of this kind of stuff. I wanted to do the intro with the Nikon CLS system, but we are definitely going to spend some time also using the Pocket Wizard system um, to show you how to do radio remotes, where you can trigger stuff that's like 
hundreds of feet away and do all kinds of stuff, high speed sync and all that other kinds of crazy stuff. So just a little bit right now on the robust power of the Nikon built-in CLS system for creative lighting and triggering remote flashes directly from your camera. That's it for now. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below or email adamlearnerphoto at gmail.com and we'll see you soon.